Here's an interesting thought. Imagine you're an astronaut on board the International Space Station, so you're orbiting the Earth in your little station, and you take your friend, who's also an astronaut, and you give them a little shove while they're outside of the station, and then you cut their cable that's tethering them to the actual space station. So you just give them a little bit of a push, and you snip that wire. So what's going to happen to this person? Well, actually, what you've just done is committed murder. Because according to Newton's first law of motion, uh, an object in motion will stay in motion at a constant velocity forever uh, unless an outside force acts on them. So uh, once you push them and you cut the wire, well, now they're an object in motion and their inertia is just going to carry them forward at the same velocity until some other force acts on them. And unfortunately for them, that outside force is going to be Earth's gravitational pull. So really, they're just going to kind of slowly fall into Earth's atmosphere and burn up. So why can't they just flap their arms to swim back to the space station? Well, it doesn't work that way because the only reason a swimmer is able to swim through water is they have something to push back on, namely the water. Because Isaac Newton's third law of motion tells us for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So if you're a swimmer and you push back on the water, the water reacts by pushing forward on you. But unfortunately, there is no air or water to push back on in space, and therefore, since you have nothing to push back on, there's nothing to push you forward. So there is no way to propel yourself in any direction just using your arms. So what's the way to survive in this situation? You need to have some kind of air jetpack, which sometimes they are equipped with, and those little jetpacks will push air backwards, and that air will react by pushing you forwards. So you have to use Newton's third law of motion to save you from Newton's first law.